Thank you, Ms. Iveson. Mr. Weber, you have five minutes for your opening statement. Well, I'd like to wish both Kenny and Tyler a happy 26th anniversary, and I'd like to thank you all for coming to our debate tonight. Uh, Missouri right now is hurting. One out of 20 Missourians who are trying to find employment, who are trying to find a way to put food on their family's table, can't find a job. Higher education, which for years has been a ticket to economic mobility, is being priced out of reach of more and more Missouri families. Instead of increasing the number of people who have access to health care, the state is act actively kicking people off the health care insurance rolls. Even compared to other states, Missouri is starting to slip. We're 50th out of 50, that's dead last, of what we pay our state employees. We're 50th on child care subsidies. We're, the average, the median income for a family in Missouri has fallen $2,000 in real terms since when Mel Carnahan was governor. There's a lot of reasons for this, but the main one is the fact that Governor Blunt and Speaker Jetton at every turn have taken Missourians down the wrong path. Now tonight we're going to talk about a lot of different policy issues to address this. But one of the things I want to focus on at the beginning is sort of my philosophy of government, how I approach the job of being a state representative. A state representative is unique because of the scope of the issues that you work on. You deal with issues every day, you cast votes that affect every facet of life here in Missouri. It's not enough just to be a master of one particular area. You have to be a jack of all trades. You have to be able to work on all different issues at all different times. I like to sort of view it as a puzzle. The pieces are being, the individual policy being the pieces, whether it's health care, whether it's education, whether it's transportation funding. And the job of the state representative is to find a way to assemble the pieces that we get, to, that we get the picture of Missouri that we want to be. Now, if you can't be a master of all these trades, how can you figure out the right way to assemble these pieces? Well, the answer, I think, is good communication. A good state representative is someone who is easily accessible to constituents. A good state representative is someone who seeks out those in the community and gets their input, doesn't wait for people to come to them. It's somebody who goes to see different groups, talks to teachers and nurses and workers and business owners and says, what can we do for you? What is the state doing that works? What is the state doing that needs to change? How can we help you deliver the services that Missourians need? I think I have the Columbia roots, the commitment to public service, and the passion for progressive policy to be a good state representative in the 23rd district. I grew up in a university family, so I understand the role that higher education plays in Columbia. To me, academic, academic freedom is something that was ingrained in me from childhood. I was taught it was just as important as anything else in building a free and open society. As growing up in this community, going to things like the Show Me State Games, going to the Higher Bloom Championships, different festivals downtown, I've soaked in the values of education, the spirit of curiosity, and the commitment to community that we have here in Columbia that makes our town so special and so unique. About 10 years ago, I started getting involved in progressive politics. I started working on campaigns for progressive candidates like Chuck Graham, Vicki Wilson, Ted Farnan. I even started branching out of Columbia, going to uh, Chillicothe, working on a rural race. I went to St. Louis to uh, work for Joan Bray in her first successful state senate race. Six years ago, I was knocking on the same doors that I am today when I was trying to help Jeff Harris get elected as his first term in the Missouri House of Representatives. When I graduated from Hickman High School, I went to St. Louis University, and one of the first things I did was become involved in the community there by joining AmeriCorps. I was placed in an early childhood center um, teaching uh, disabled preschoolers, children with autism, helping them get ready for kindergarten. The next year, that same spirit of public service that led me to join AmeriCorps led me to a very different type of corps. When I joined, uh, enlisted in the Marine Corps Reserves, I um, ended up doing two tours in Iraq, a war that I disagreed with from the beginning, a war that I spoke out against in 2002 before it was politically popular to do so. On my second tour there, I uh, led a squad of Marines in the city of Fallujah, where I was responsible for, for keeping them alive. I didn't bring them all home in one piece, but I eventually did bring them all home. After my, or in between those two tours in Iraq, I managed to graduate from St. Louis University with a degree in economics. And after I returned from my second tour, I was here in Columbia. I was looking for a job. I went to a, a speech that Senator McCaskill was giving at the American Legion Hall. And I talked to some of her staff, and they encouraged me that I should apply for an open position in her DC office, which I did and was fortunate enough to get. Um, I spent the last, much of the last year working for Senator McCaskill, um, getting a, a view of, of the federal government, how it works, how it doesn't work, and talking to constituents of Missouri all over the state and hearing their concerns and their, their, their needs that, that they need to be addressed. I think there's two really important functions that a state representative from the 23rd District has, has to fill. The first and the most important is to push for progressive policy. Um, in Jefferson City. 
The second is to follow Jeff Harris' example of putting together a large, broad, progressive coalition that can win those battles in Jefferson City for us. I look forward to taking your questions, and I'm excited to be here. Thank you.